everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Hope you are all having an amazing day today. My name is Lex and welcome back to some more GTA 5 where today I'm driving a car I don't think I've ever driven before. This is the Burger Shop Stallion for those of you who perhaps haven't seen it either. This is just a car that I don't know how to get. Maybe there's an obvious way that I've just forgotten over time. But I don't think I've ever seen this like out in the wild. I don't know where this would be parked or anything like that actually if you guys know please let me know in the comment section below because I'm just curious to find that out but the reason I'm driving this car today is because well actually you've probably seen the top and you've probably seen the thumbnail so I'm not even gonna try and hide this anymore it's because today we're going to be looking at a custom racetrack you can actually see it now in a really odd location just off the beach right over here so as you can probably tell, this isn't one of these old style maps that you load up in Map Editor and it's made out of a bunch of the things that are already in GTA 5 stuck together where the whole base of the map is just actually made out of flat cargo ships or whatever the hell it is, tugboats, I, I can't remember what they make it out of now. But this is an actual proper new map add-on. And as you can see, the, uh, the terrain isn't really well textured, it's not really well modeled but of course this is another one of these early days map mods now that we can have new models added inside the game for those of you who watched my other video uh, where i showed you the statue of liberty map if you haven't go watch that now it, it the reason that map works is because rockstar already made that but this is something that has actually been made by someone presumably from scratch actually can we make this up here or is that okay we can okay this is gonna be fun i'm gonna try and jump in we're gonna have to take a huge run up to get here and actually, whilst I'm taking this run up and before I explain this map anymore, there's going to be some comments on the screen. These are comments, questions, usually mostly comments now. You guys don't ask many questions anymore. Do you not care about me? There's going to be some comments, questions on the screen right now. If you like comments, questions, feature, leave them in the comments section below. I'll feature some at random at the start of the next video. And don't forget, I have a Twitter. For God's sake, go and follow me on Twitter if you want to find out the latest stuff that's going on in my life and videos and all that stuff by going to at figure eight on Twitter. Links for that in the description below. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, we're not going to die or crash. We can actually get through without hitting anyone. Just sorry. Excuse me. Coming through. Oh, my bonnet flew off. And there we go. We're here in a terrible style because we've actually just crashed into the place where I assume everyone would be sitting. Am I right? Yeah. That's where the crowd would normally be sitting. I mean, there'd be small people. They're not exactly. Uh, you're not going to fit many people on that thing. If they're supposed to be like little seats and something, maybe they're not. Maybe that's just me and that's actually just as like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't think many people will sit there. But this is the map right here. Let's just actually just drive around this whole circuit right now. Because it's a very small circuit, I've got to say. But look at this. The whole reason why this is so exciting to me is because we not only have in the past, we've only had mods that people have made using stuff that was already in the game. But this is something all just brand new. This isn't like the Liberty, um, the Statue of Liberty mod that we looked at because Rockstar made that map. That map was purely just converted. This is a whole new map. Oh dear, we've got a bit of, uh, is that water? That's water. Right. Um, okay, actually, no, hang on. Because it goes up, that means that that's just because it's on a slope and that bit at the bottom's going to have water. That's a bit awkward, but I'm sure we can ignore that. I guess if you wanted this to be absolutely perfect, you could probably get a mod to lower the water levels. It's a bit awkward. But I just love the fact that someone has made this from scratch because this is just, this is what GTA 5 is all about. Because I know that actually there are a bunch of maps that are like this, but none so far in single player. Oh, hello, we've even got a little garage here. Look at this, we can actually just uh, reverse in. How about that? There's some nice pictures on the wall. Let's go have a look at this. Actually, uh, it was hot from far away. I don't know whether that's supposed to be an anime girl or anything, but I could also see a woman there in a bikini. Just very low texture. That's a shame. But yeah, I know there have been mods. I know that if you go on Five Reborn, you can like play on drift servers where people have made these amazing things. But in the past, they've always only really worked on Five Reborn or all those other GTA online fake version things. None of them have been in single player. So this is the first real custom map that someone has made that I've seen that works in single player GTA 5. No need for all the extra mods and programs and online and all that sort of stuff. You can just dick about in single player. And this is what I've been waiting for. This is really weird because this um, angle is quite it's quite scary, actually. I'm not sure if that was intended to be that way, but it's kind of weird. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn in a better car because that one I got sort of bored with. It's quite a tight map. 
and so because of that, I'm going to try and get a smaller, slower car. And actually, maybe the Brioso is going to be absolutely perfect for us. Although, I don't like that green. I'm going to go straight ahead and just change the livery and the paint straight away because I want that to be a much nicer looking thing. Let's go over to... Where is our livery on this thing? Okay, we don't, but I decided just to change the colour anyway because it just looked a bit sucky. There we go. We've got a bit of an issue with green, but I think that's because in this map, you can actually see the reflection is the water. The problem is the game doesn't know that this is here. That's why the seagulls are like sort of flying really low to the ground. And actually, I think that's about to go through the building right there. Here we go. Yeah, so the, the, the game doesn't really treat this map as something that's there. So there are going to be this issue with seagulls and stuff and the fact that you can see the water reflection. I don't know whether that's going to happen later on, whether they're going to change all that sort of stuff. But again, this is really early days uh, for this thing to actually work instead of single player. I know the guys, I think it's the guys at OpenIV that have done all this stuff to get this all to work. Because they're currently working on a full scale GTA 4 Liberty City map into GTA 5 mod. Which is going to be absolutely amazing when it gets done. And what I'm actually waiting for as well is I'm really hoping to see some proper cool mods and map mods for uh, North Yankton. There are actually a few that already exist and I will do videos on them because uh, some some people's ideas of what North Yankton could look like with extra buildings and stuff is actually quite amazing. I, I'm definitely going to be showing those mods so look out for some North Yankton custom mods soon because I'm absolutely fascinated with custom North Yankton stuff. But I would love to see what people could do like those mods, the, the mod maps that I've seen, I'm sort of like teasing you here by saying what I've seen without showing you. But I believe that those are all using map editor, so they're all using bits that are already in the game, and they're not using anything new. Whereas this is all new stuff, and I want to see someone who can like make landscape and texture the landscape and make all these new models and stuff, like really do that sort of work in North Yankton to just make a whole new fictional city. I just, I can't wait for that to be a thing. Oh dear, oh god. Okay, that was close. Yeah, I think because we've got this hill, it's actually sort of like making the car quite um, unstable when we go around these because now we're going uphill. I mean, I'm not going to exactly do very good lap times on this thing, but that was not really the point. I just wanted to show you that this thing exists. Just to tell, just to shout from the hills, guys, look at this. There will be a link in the description below where you can go and download it. All you need to do, if you know how to install an add-on car, and I have got a link in, the, in somewhere, I've, I've got a... In fact, I'm going to put a link in the description to that video because I've done a video on this in the past. How you can install an add-on car. All you need is that information and you can install this into GTA 5. You also have to have script hook and all that sort of stuff. Instructions for that are very simple. You can usually find those with the mods themselves. Oh, I just crashed into the water there just a little bit. And all it takes is just one DLC add-on pack thing to be added. One line of code in the file, which again I show in the video that I have done. I'll put a link to my video in the description. And it's one DLL file in the scripts folder, and that's it to get this whole thing working. And it is just absolutely brilliant. It works in the exact same way as the Liberty City statue uh, map. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go check that out. And you can download that mod and install it in the exact same way as this. It's not that... If I was going to like rate this as a map, I mean, um, the track is sort of basic and whatever. But it's, it's quite fun. But of course, the landscape is the bit that I think can be worked on. But the fact that this landscape exists... And just shows you what is possible excites me greatly. Let's just go around the outside. This just look, it even goes down here. So they've even got all the edges and stuff mapped out, which is great. Let's just have a look at this from the sky as well. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. That is going to be it. I know these map mods have been quite short lately, but it's just, it's hard to really like show you much. When we do car mods and stuff, I sort of like tune them up, whatever. Not so much we could do with these map things apart from just investigate them. And this is quite a simple one, really. I just really wanted to show you guys what it was like. But there we go. That is it. Thank you all so much for watching. That is actually... Oh, we've actually got collisions on this one. Can we walk through the door? No, we do actually have collisions on this one. So this one's actually even slightly better than the uh, Statue of Liberty map in some ways, if you think about it. Well, there we go. I'm going to stand inside and just watch all the water come up on the map. Oh, look, there's another little uh, garage there. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, I, I mean, you're not exactly going to get your car through the door, but... <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you all next time. Goodbye! <laughs>